Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. I'm doing a voiceover today and also fast forwarding my video so it doesn't take that long. I'm going to be doing an open cup pour today and here I'm putting down um, part of my base coat which is the Amsterdam Titanium White. Um, these are my colors I'm using today and they're all the Porridge Posse paints. I'm using the um, Ocean Teal Blue. Maria's Lake Forest Metallic Purple Raspberry, Susan's Heirloom Rose Shimmer, and the Blueberry Shimmer. And here I'm putting down some more base coat. I am going to help my cup along on my base coat there. I will list all the paints. And I did mix them um, one part paint to one part Flow regular American Floetrol, and then water for consistency. Again, just helping that cup along. My base coat um, is different today. I am experimenting. Um, it is the Amsterdam Titanium White one part, one part satin enamel. That's Easy Care Satin Enamel. One half part Vallejo Pearl Medium, a tablespoon of Liquitex Pouring Medium, a tablespoon of GAC 800, and one half part Australian Floetrol. So I'm trying to do a cloud effect and also get some cells here today. We'll just see um, what happens. Using up the balance on my paints here. That was the raspberry, and this is the rose shimmer here on top. A little bit more of the base coat. And this is how I like to do my open cup pour, is twirl it like that. And here I'm going to add the balance of my base coat to help the paint move. No silicone is used today. I just wanted to experiment to see by using the Australian Floetrol in my base coat if that would make a difference. Here I'm just giving it a little bit of a torch. I'm just popping some bubbles. These paints I did make up yesterday, the colored paints. Just doing the tilting process now. And I do like that negative space in the middle, but at this point I decided I just needed a little more for the eye to look at. So I am just taking a couple of colors of my paints there and just running them through that area. Just creating some lines there. Just switching up the composition a little bit. I do have quite a bit of paint on this canvas. And I almost wished I could have left that as a negative space like that in that upper right corner, but I do have too much paint. So I'm going to have to tip some of that off. Again, just adding some more lines here. And that was that um, purple raspberry that I just added. And now when you look at this painting, the, the thing that I really like about it is that area with the, um, the rose shimmer and the purple raspberry. I just think that's so pretty. It does look very muted, but it's so pretty in that painting. Just cleaning off the edges here, taking a look at it. Get 
giving it another torch. Adding some more lines. It looks like I'm using the blueberry shimmer at this point. And also that uh, teal blue. What I'm doing here is I'm adding on the back of my palette knife some Amsterdam paints I had mixed up. Three, three parts the Australian Floetrol to one part paint. And that color I'm using there is um, Payne's Gray. Or, no, excuse me, that's Prussian Blue. I'm actually hoping to get some cell action going on here with these. Um, this, I call them the cell activator paints. This is Carmine. Again, these are all Amsterdam paints mixed with the Australian Floetrol. And I do love that color Carmine. You can see where it does sell up when I use the flat part of my palette knife there. Here I'm actually using some gold. I think it's called deep gold. And this is, I believe, the Payne's Gray now. Yes, that looks like the Payne's Gray. And I'm also using just my large popsicle stick to add some lines. That's still the Payne's Gray. This is Reflex Rose. Beautiful, beautiful pink color from Amsterdam. Just trying to add a pop of color here and there. And this is the color I call Mysterious. It's made up of four different paints. Very pretty blue color. I will list all my paints and pouring mediums used in the description. Now I'm just giving it just a, the slightest little tilt here. Just to incorporate those lines a little bit. giving it another torch and I do do some additional work off camera which I will show you when we get down for the close-up it's cleaning off the edges here 
And now we're gonna come down for the close-up. Here we are in the upper left-hand corner. And as you can see, I did use a straw to blow out some of the lines. There's some of those cells I got, the cloudy, cloudy look. Here's a good, good example of where I blew out some lines. So I have the straight lines and then also the addition of blowing them out. All along the bottom here, I blew all these lines out. I just think it gave it a really, really nice composition. And there's that pink that I really like. So I have a lot going on in this painting. There's areas that are plain and areas that are very busy. It's a very good combination. It's pretty in this area. Really love that reflex rose color. I want to thank everybody for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time I do post a new video. Here we are just going down the right hand side. Very pretty in here. My favorite spot of the whole painting. And then here's the lower right hand corner. Subscribe if you haven't. That would help my channel grow. Here I am trying to show you a big part of this painting all together. Again, thank you for watching. And then until next time, take care everybody. Bye.